In southern China, in the countryside of Guanxi province, a French consortium has just built a thermal power station. The Labin B power station has a generating capacity of two times 360 megawatts. This project was put out to international tender and the EDF Alstom consortium was chosen. The Labin B project is the first thermal power station in China to be built as a concession and entirely financed by foreign capital. Total investment in the project amounted to 616 million US dollars. The civil engineering works accounting for 55 million dollars. EDF and Alstom set up Figlec, a company to finance the project and to operate the power station for 15 years. At the end of the 15 year period, the power station will be transferred to the province of Guanxi. Following the international tender, the totality of the civil engineering works were awarded to SAE International in association with the Chinese enterprise SBC Company No. 1. One month after the end of the tender procedure, the first members of the SAE team moved into Lebin, and two months later the work started. SAE's site workforce reached a peak strength of 2,500 employees. Located next to Labin A, the Labin B site is primarily made up of two production units, the chimney, the water intake, the tunnels and the coal yard, the annexes, the ash yard and networks. The first difficulty encountered was the caustic configuration of the substratum which required constant adaptability during the various stages of excavation and foundation laying to overcome problems as they arose and without upsetting the work schedule. All in all, the works involved excavating 900,000 cubic meters of earth, pouring 100,000 cubic meters of concrete, 10,000 tons of framework and 2,200 piles. The main structures to be built were the production units, the heart of a power station. Built out of steel girders, the two production units include several structures that are typical of civil engineering, such as foundations for equipment and the generator plinths for the turbines. These works required constant rigorous quality control of the concrete mixes, the tolerances and the production deadlines. On the banks of the Hangshui River, work on the water intakes and the pumping station was made particularly difficult by the quick and strong variations in the river level, which could rise to 20 meters in a few hours. Tunnels for the water intakes were excavated by dynamite. They carry the water supply to the pumping station, which is 55 meters high and was built using sliding formwork. The power station's water supply is fed through two concrete pipelines, 2.4 meters in diameter and with a total length of 5.5 kilometers. Installing them required particularly complex procedures. The power station's 210 meter high chimney was built in 16 weeks using sliding formwork. The chimney took 5,000 cubic meters of concrete. Its internal conduit is made up of 90 lining panels weighing four tons each, which were assembled by hoist in two months.
The coal is brought by train, then offloaded onto conveyor belts, which pass through two underground tunnels under the railway line that supplies Labin A. Building this structure was an extremely delicate operation. We dug two tunnels by dynamite blasting, but without interrupting the operations of the structures above ground. Our teams worked round the clock on these tunnels. The coal yard's 30,000 square meters were specially treated for insulation and drainage, then covered in gravel. We built 40 annexes to the power station, such as the water treatment plant, the inspection buildings, the workshops, and the administrative offices. For the electricity station, we built the foundations, the drainage system, and the inspection building. Around the power station, we laid three kilometers of concrete road and more than three kilometers of access roads to the ash yard. Excavating the ash yard required cutting 400,000 cubic meters of earth. Four earth and stone dams separate the ash yard from the surrounding valleys. The city of Le Bin, situated four kilometers from the power station, was where we built a residential compound, comprising 300 housing units for the expatriates and Chinese working on the power station. For the whole duration of the works, perfect coordination was maintained between the customer and SAE International, which enabled us to meet their requirements while scrupulously respecting the agreed schedule and guaranteeing that the works were carried out in compliance with quality and safety standards. Thanks to the competence and efficiency of our teams, we were able to respect the 30-month contractual production deadline. SAE International has significant experience in China, both in the public and private sectors. As main contractor, we built the Beijing World Trade Center, the Airbus Pilot Training Center, and the Fuzhou Shopping Center. Leibin B is another success story to add to SAE International's long list of references in exporting civil engineering expertise.